got in trouble with the law when I was young, and I learned some about anger. I, statutory, I had a statutory rape thing when I was like I was seventeen, and um, me and my friends, you know, fucked this girl, and and then this is a long story short. To be this is a long story short, but basically, me and my friends hanging out, bumped into two girls. Yeah. Uh, my mother was out of town, so I had the house to myself, and. You know, we brought them back and we had a good time yeah. and, then, you know, dropped them. Everybody seemed to be happy. Um, a- afterwards, you know, you don't know about not kissing and telling, you know, when you're young, you're like, yeah. hey, man, oh, we had a great time. This girl sucked the dick. And did, did. We sure. basically were doing a porno. Yeah. And so we told the wrong people and those people said, "Ooh, all right, I know that girl. So instead of like just saying, just taking advantage of the fact that she was just a natural hoe and doing a little work, it was like, hey, I heard what you did in Boston. Why don't you do it to me? Well, I'm going to tell everybody. So so they did it. And she's like, I mean, fair to her. You know, she had she had to she had to protect herself. And she's just like uh, crying and emotional about what what's now imminent. Like, what is everybody going to come? Right. fucking blackmailing me for getting their dick sucked yeah. so she cried to her brother and said oh man I got raped today and her brother went to go fuck these people up and then as that's going on he's fucking this is a week after or two weeks after we was messing with. so after you, you, you know after that situation she's like uh oh okay I got raped today and then it's like oh I, I got raped last week too wow. So how old was she? 15 yeah 15 and 17, but I, I went to jail for that, but I, I always, I, it was a weird thing. How long were you in jail? Two months, huh. 60 days. Yeah. Because it was like, I had, I got lucky. It was, it was, it's weird. I have this on my record, but I got lucky in terms of this. It's Suffolk County. And I know guys uh, that have gone to jail for the rest of their life. I happen to have um, bad lawyers, but a, a great judge. In jail, what was that like? It was it was more fear than they they send us to a place called um, Concord. Yeah. MCI Concord yeah. was very dangerous because it was I guess you you see Star Wars. Right? Yeah, it's it was like you know that planet that um yeah where everybody was hanging before they went to go off into the other shit in that in the solar system where yeah. you're playing the band and yeah, 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 where yeah. you from I'm from the Mogo system right 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 That's, but MCI Concord was like that it was like murderers arsonists uh, fucking uh, gamblers everybody everybody from the worst crime to the, to the least right was sent there it was just, uh, what, it, but did they send people who didn't have long sentences there? Or? That's what I'm saying. Right. So guys who were actually sentenced to 60 days um, were sent there. Kids. I mean, I, and it was my worst nightmare, meaning I was not a jail guy, man. It, I, I just wasn't a jail. I was like, this was, I don't even know what the biggest, it's like. Well, how'd you handle it? What went down? Did it get fucking bad? I'm a big guy. Yeah. And I'm a funny guy. Yeah. I mean, I was funny. Yeah. And I was big. So if so, it, it, the biggest thing was that I had a rape beef over my head. Yeah. And the idea is that, you know, those guys get a bad time in jail. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm, what, what's going to happen? I mean, you got to understand I was not fit for that. Yeah. Um, I don't know, think so, anybody is. Uh, some people are. Some people are prepared to go to jail for things that they do. Uh, gangsters are ready for. No, jail. no, I get what you're saying. But I, but I mean, I, mean, I, I, I to be a kid in jail. Yeah, I mean, I was a kid, dude. I mean, and you know, whatever. I mean, so um, when I get there, I, I'm not trying to be hard because I know I'm not hard, but I'm just trying to be right, and I'm yeah. just trying to go. Oh man, <laughs> don't I'm, fuck me. I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I'm in jail, man. I don't know. But I did all my soul searching because he sentenced us. It was weird. He he was doing us a favor, but the only thing he did really wrong was it's I'm an adult and it's on my record for the rest of my life. Um, and and people not un, unlike murder. It's like murder. There's a there's a story. Yeah. Like you go. I I went to jail for murder. What happened? 
I was fighting a guy and, and his head hit the hydrant. And yeah. He, he was like, oh, okay. There's, a, there's stories. <laughs> yeah. He, you know, yeah, he yeah. rape. You go, oh, God, he took pussy. You go, yeah. wait, no, there's. Yeah. There's the levels. story is just a, a lie already. It's like. Whatever the story is, it's yeah, got to be You're bullshit. a rapist. No, yeah. no, wait. No, yeah, no, I, no. I, I, I was 17 and my dick went into a 15 year old. Now, the rest of the story is the story, but I'm, I didn't go to jail for taking pussy. Now, right. whatever mental there's all kind of mental shit that can happen to a woman under even any circumstance whether she gives it up or not right it's like psychologically i don't know what that effect is i'm not trying to be innocent sexually because i was doing some deviant shit but it wasn't taking pussy it was having a good time yeah whatever train whatever which which ultimately in jail i'm i'm keeping my head low i'm 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 playing basketball i'm whatever i'm just living and um and so these guys these 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 uh guys that kind of had a heavy rap and they were there because they were they were transferring these guys to another prison and they all were friends i think they all had did the, the same crime or some shit they was they were tough guys yeah they were all named after southern states and shit it was like these guys and they white guys were, black guys no, uh, i was no i don't you know answer the white guys if you're black in prison like yeah white people that we play ball together but what you did was you yeah. plus concord was the place where it wasn't a those gangsters were there but it wasn't a whole lot of gangster shit because people were being assessed on where they were going next so you either could go to walpole see the junction or you could go to fucking uh, uh, so knoxbury hold, farm right holding station holding station mm, yeah. so uh uh these uh these guys they said look what What's going on with you, man? And I go, what? what? I'm going, oh man. I'm going, what's? Oh. He goes, they go, well, um, what you in for? I go, well, and then this is the title of my crime, and yeah, and they go, well, and I'm, and they walk, and they're making me walk around the yard with them. Yeah, and, I, and and I'm like, oh god, they're gonna probably walk me to this blind spot here, and they're gonna do some. Oh god, <laughs> they go, oh man, talk. And they used to call me Heavy D. Yeah, and Heavy D, hey man, come here, Heavy D, let me talk to you for the. Uh, <laughs> so it's like four of them. Yeah. And we're just walking around the yard, and then I go, well, I did this, and this happened, and then the boom, and then boom, and then they go after like two walks around, they go, you in here for pulling a motherfucking train? You and I see they and they go they go everybody in this motherfucker did that shit and you in jail for that shit <laughs> you in jail for doing what motherfucking niggas do and I go I, yeah. <laughs> and they just they said they gave me a pass they go look don't let me ever hear you locked up again I said, oh, thank you <laughs> ever since then life got better but then I had a friend life didn't get better because he the nightmare of jail got to him mentally and he never could get out of it he wouldn't take a shower and he he um who this guy yeah. my co-defendant as they would they would say the my kid? friend my best friend one the of my 15 best year friend. old or the other guy there, there were three one, it was two it was five of us um five five guys two girls yeah okay and the other girl didn't put up any Right. She didn't put Charging. up any charges right. and it was I mean, whatever. So, so one of, so your friend he my him. my they you know my friend and they would call him my co defendant you know yeah and uh, he thought he was gonna get raped in the shower every day that was every day was rape in the shower he couldn't when he was there when we were yeah. both there at the same time and did it happen it's just like you go there and all you've been watching is MSNBC and sure. it's like someone's gonna shank me in my neck so you just wear. A f every day you just wear a fucking phone book collar because you go somebody's gonna and it's like dude take off that phone book no no i won't take it off someone's gonna stab me in my neck he would always think someone's gonna get him and and he wouldn't shower and these guys man they want their lives there's guys in there and look uh, just because i'm in there for for 60 days doesn't make me less angry about it because you're in there for 25 years but i do know a guy in for 60 days you make a guy that's in for 25 years happy you deal with your shit differently than that guy yeah and he was um in a position where he's he's smells really bad in front of 
guys that are doing 25 years. They have to no live one, every day. No one wants to, see, yeah. you know. So I, he goes, tell your co-defendant. They keep saying my co-defendant. So I was like, I'm like, man, dude, like you gotta. I'm not gonna say his name. Yeah. But he says, I'm like, man, you gotta take a shower, man. These guys are. Come on, man. He goes, fuck you, man. You act like you like it in here. I go, no, but I'm saying, like, you can take a shower. <laughs> like, take a oh, fucking no. shower, man. Yeah. They're gonna kill you. You know, they start throwing piss on them, and and uh, they started throwing piss on him. Yeah, to make him take a shower. Oh. And he just he wouldn't take a shower, and. Eventually, they like you know. Eventually, it became torturous, and it was torture for him for at least forty-five of the sixty days, and and, and things have been right since. He, he he. The next time I seen him after we got out, he was he came to my house like with a fur coat. He had a fur coat and like and like it was like boxer trunks and shoes. It was weird, and he was talking about. What if Jesus was something other than being Jesus? Like, what if Jesus was a pimp, man? You know. So he snapped. He 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 snapped, and and you know, you talk about um, in terms of trying to have my mind deal with feeling like a vic- 